All right, so now that the Galaxy Z Fold 5 is out of the way, let's talk about a real flagship phone, and that's the S24 Ultra. So I've talking about the iPhone 15 in past videos. I've talked about the Pixel 8. I've also talked about leaks and rumors about the Nothing Phone 2, but I haven't really talked or made a video about the S24 and the rest of the lineup. So let's do that today. So the S24 lineup is still around six months away, but there are already a lot of leaks and rumors that are coming out. And in this video, we're gonna talk about everything we know about the S24, the S24 Plus, and also the S24 Ultra. So let's talk about the design first. And uh, we are really not seeing a big change this year. So this is not really a redesign year. There are gonna be some meaningful changes, some significant changes. Uh, that are going to distinguish the phones from the S23 lineup. But as Samsung always claims, they're making changes on the inside. So let's see what they have. And first of all, talking about the display. So again, we are expecting the same size for the display. There is, there's gonna be three sizes or actually two sizes because we're still not sure yet if the Galaxy S24 Plus will be coming out this year because according to rumors and reports, there is a possibility that Samsung may actually discontinue the Plus model because of the sales. So the S23, the regular S23 and the S23 Ultra were the best sellers for the S23 lineup and Samsung is actually considering uh, discontinuing the Plus models. But if they do come out, then there's always obviously gonna be the same three sizes. There's gonna be a 6.1 inch display, there's gonna be a 6.5 inch display, and then there's gonna be a 6.8 inch display for the S24 Ultra. They're all still gonna be AMOLED displays, and they're also all, all gonna have 120 hertz of a refresh rate, but the, uh, but the S24 Ultra is the only one that's gonna have an LTPO display, which means it's gonna come down to one hertz whenever it's not needed for battery savings. And weirdly, the, the S24, the regular one, and the Plus version, if the, it does come out, is going to have a 45 hertz display from 120 down to 45, not 60, which is kind of weird. That's the first time that I've heard. Also, the S24 Ultra is the only phone that's gonna be coming out with uh, QHD resolution. The rest of the lineup is still gonna have the same full HD resolution. When it comes to the cameras, that's also a very interesting part because we are hearing rumors that Samsung is going to adopt a one inch sensor. That's right, this is gonna be the first phone that's gonna come with a one inch sensor. And if I'm not wrong, a one inch sensor is usually used with the DSLR cameras, or I think that's what we call full frame cameras. I'm, I'm not really sure, I actually should know. I work around cameras all day long, so <laughs> I should know that. Uh, but yes, a one inch sensor is rumored to be coming with the S24 Ultra. It's still gonna stay at 200 megapixels, uh, so the resolution is pretty good, much gonna be the same, but that one inch sensor should really amp up the quality in other areas. And we're also hearing that the zoom is going to increase from 100 to 150. So currently the S23 Ultra can zoom to 100 times, and now it's gonna be, it's rumored to actually go up to 150, so that's a new change. Now, if we talk about performance, this is where things get a little bit weird because it looks like Samsung is doing everything it can to sideline Qualcomm and there's a new attempt, or at least that's what the rumors are saying. Samsung is now trying to actually uh, bring back Exynos uh, instead of only going with Snapdragon. But obviously this is, uh, Exynos is uh, Samsung's own SOC. So they're trying to do everything they can to keep it in the game. Uh, the reason why this is a little bit disappointing is because Exynos really doesn't live up to the hype and it's never been able to beat Qualcomm or the Snapdragon chips. If Exynos 2400 is to come, then that means that performance may be dipping. And the rumor suggests that there's gonna be specific regions where the Exynos chip is going to be used. And we're hearing that Europe will be getting the Exynos chip alongside maybe India. Uh, and the rest of the world, the US versions will obviously get uh, Qualcomm. We also saw some benchmark numbers. And the benchmark suggests that the Qualcomm, uh, that the Exynos 2400 chip is better than the A16 chip and also better than the Snapdragon 8 Gen 2 chip. But the thing is that the, both of these chips are this year's chips, they're not next year's chips. And we don't know whether they will be able to compete with the Snapdragon a Gen 3 chip. So that's kind of like still a gray area where we don't know whether the performance will be the same. When it comes to the RAM, we are hearing that the regular versions, the S24 and the S24 Plus is gonna be coming with 12 gigs of RAM this time up from eight gigs of RAM. And the S23 Ultra will be getting an upgrade to 16 gigs of RAM from the regular 12 gigs that it comes with. So that's gonna be a significant, meaningful change. Last but not least, if we talk about the batteries, the batteries are still gonna stay the same sizes. So we are getting a 3,900 milliampere battery for the S24. We are getting a 4,700 milliampere battery for the S24 Plus and 
a 5000 milliampere battery for the S24 Ultra. Now the, the change here is that this is going to be stackable batteries. That's something that even Apple is considering doing for the uh, iPhone 15. And what that does is basically it allows more density into the battery. So you can stack up batteries within the same space. So the advantage of that is that you get a bigger, a better battery, a more lasting battery. And rumors suggest that uh, this will allow around 10% more battery life without actually, actually having to increase the size of it. Uh, so battery sizes, milliampere are still gonna stay the same, but the technology that's gonna be used for these batteries may be a little bit different. So we may see an improvement on that and that's always welcome. Uh, so yeah guys that's pretty much it uh, that that's everything that we know so far about the galaxy s24 uh, a few things that i would have liked to seen is uh, a little bit of an improvement when it comes to the s pen so the s pen for the galaxy s24 ultra is still kind of uh, it, it has a little bit of latency and i would like to see a bit of an improvement a decrease in latency and we would also like to see some gestures with air gestures coming to the s24 ultra with the S Pen. Nevertheless, these are some changes that are gonna be coming uh, to the Galaxy S24 lineup. Let me know what you guys think about them. Let me know if there is anything that you would have liked to see on the S24 lineup. And is this a phone that you would actually consider buying? By the way, the Galaxy Z Fold 5 came out yesterday and uh, uh, I made a video about how disappointing it was. And uh, let me know whether you would buy the Galaxy uh, Z Fold 5 or would you go for something like the S24 Ultra? Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.